And welcome back to Newsmax Now. That man, Neil Diamond, is retiring. Wow. All right, this is the first line from a press release. Legendary singer, songwriter, and performer Neil Diamond today announced his retirement from touring due to his recent diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Neil Diamond, who will be awarded the Recording Academy's Lifetime Achievement Award next week, turns 77 tomorrow. Look at the man. He looks great still, and his voice has stood up so well, which brings us to our next guest. Here to talk about the advancements being made in the fight against Parkinson's disease and how you can help if you know someone who is suffering <laughs> is James Beck. He is the Chief Scientific Officer for the Parkinson's Foundation. Jim, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. I'm glad I could be here. Yeah, a lot of people have a personal connection for a variety of reasons to Neil Diamond. Uh, the, the man's got more songs than we could list yeah. in a half hour show. Great singer. He's a great singer. Why, my question is why, why would Parkinson's sort of indicate, okay, Neil, it's time to hang up the traveling boots and stay at home? You know, for most people uh, with Parkinson's disease who don't lead that kind of uh, multi-continental world tour, I, yeah. Parkinson's disease is not going to really slow them down when they get that initial diagnosis. Okay. Um, but I think uh, Mr. Diamond, he's uh, out there and working hard, and it's a neurodegenerative disease, so there's no question that it can alter uh, your lifestyle, um, and it can impact it in subtle ways, and one of them is being able to travel uh, in that kind of routine way. Uh, like he does, and to go out on the tour. Uh, sometimes the medications uh, can have side effects, which can also impact uh, what he's able to do at that kind of level that he wants. So, mm -hmm. you know, someone like a performer like uh, Neil Diamond, he is someone who um, wants to be out there at the top and do things perfectly, and sometimes Parkinson's disease keeps you from getting to that perfection there level. There can be a real time uh, dependency with those medications in terms of how long they're effective and how you... That's exactly right. That's so a lot of times the medication is trying to, uh, to uh, stage the dosing when you want to do something like a live performance can be difficult. Especially um, if you're jet lagged. Yes, yes. Uh, fatigue is one of the biggest okay. non-motor symptoms with Parkinson's disease and someone who's traveling uh, can be, uh, you know, time zones like that can be really devastating and make it difficult to do what he wants to do at his is level. It just, does it create a mental confusion or a I mean, I don't know. I, I... Yeah, they can have rigidity. So if I were to raise his arm up or someone with Parkinson's, you can feel a little, like, ratchet effect in the arm. Um, they can uh, have a, a slight tremor in their hands. Not everyone does, but a lot mm -hmm. of people do. And, and they can have sometimes problems with, with posture and, and uh, walking as they experience a disease that moves on. It, these are, you know, typical symptoms with Parkinson's disease. And some of the ones we don't hear about very much, that what are called the non-motor symptoms that are, mm -hmm. that are hidden, um, can be fatigue, uh, sometimes can be mental confusion, but it's more likely um, akin to attention deficit disorder. They have a hard time making sequences and, and tasks and, and staying on, focused on a particular subject, but mm -hmm. um, a lot of those things are, are very manageable and very minor, mm -hmm. usually early on in the disease. Mm -hmm. What's on the horizon, Jim, for people like Neil Diamond and the you know, thousands of people who share that condition? I think there's a, a lot of hope. There's um, medications which are entering clinical trials right now which have the potential to actually alter the disease course. We're not mm -hmm. there yet. And you know, mm -hmm. one of the things that I think a lot of people don't realize is that the medications we have right now are really just treat the symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, they don't alter the disease itself. And they're really good at managing symptoms, but those, that management only lasts a certain period of because time. Because you're still losing neurons within right. the brain. That's right. It, it progresses. Well, the disease right. progresses, the unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's hope for people who are newly diagnosed uh, there's sure. for, that they can live relatively normal lives mm -hmm. and relatively full lives. Um, they always will have that disease there that they will have to deal with on a daily basis, but it's, it's not a death sentence. And I think that's the important thing to keep in mind when we talk about Parkinson's disease, that it's, you know, people can still do what they need to do.